Only one word? <laughs> Steady. Compassionate. Caring. Inviting. Fun. I'll go with fun. <laughs> it's true. I always wanted to use this line. It all started in a 5,000 watt radio station in Fresno, California. $64 a week and a dream. That's the old 10 night uh, joke from Mary Tyler Moore show. But for me it all started uh, actually when I was a kid. I had this fascination with TV commercials. And when I was in uh, grade school, I used to put on these plays and as part of the plays, we would include parodies of commercials of the time. A commercial for dish uh, liquid where it was, do you have dishpan hands? And so we would ask the question and then we have these huge fake hands that we would bring up. The, the, the class would go nuts. So I was always looking for that, you know, positive reinforcement of a, a good laugh. But at the same time, I was also into music and I really loved music. Uh, so I took piano for 11 years. Um, I, I loved, you know, popular music. So I originally, when I went to college, I was thinking, you know, I would really like to be involved in, in spinning tunes, if nothing else, being a DJ. But then, you know, when it comes graduation time and you go to a liberal arts school, it's like, uh-oh, now what do I do? <laughs> so I started looking around and that's when it was, well, what do you really want to do and where can you make some money? And that's when I decided to pursue the advertising agency side of the business. And that's, uh, that's why I, I went in that direction. At my first job, the results of the creative was actually very good. But I understand it wasn't just me doing it all. You know, we had a team. And some of my ad headlines were great, some of them not so great. So it was very uh, helpful and again, a good, really good learning experience for me. Well, after that, I got, had gotten married. I was now taking a commuter train from Deerfield, Illinois into downtown Chicago. It took me about an hour and a half each way. Riding the train home one night to suburbia when I happened to see this ad in Ad Age that said Escape to Wisconsin. And I said, wow, that sounds good. It wouldn't happen to be in Madison, would it? Sure enough, the, the agency was based in Madison, Wisconsin. Had to be Stephen and Brady. So uh, as a result of that, I said, well, let me write them a letter. And then actually on my birthday back in 1979, Roman called me with an offer. And uh, so after a, a little bit of thought, I accepted and uh, decided to take the chance and move up here. And it uh, worked out okay. Back in the day when I first got here, one of the second, third clients I worked on was Famous Footwear. They gave us an assignment, we need some in-store ideas, you know, what can we do at point of sale? And back then everybody's talking about brands for less, save 30, 40%. So I said, you know, what does that mean to people? Why don't you have stickers on each shoe that say, here's the manufacturer's suggested price, here's our price so you can see what the savings are. And they actually implemented that. I had the opportunity to be one of three from Stephen and Brady who got invited over to Rayovac the day that they announced to their entire staff that Michael Jordan was becoming their spokesperson. We had the opportunity to come up with some promotional idea. So with, the, with his hands I thought, you know, hey, why don't we do a basketball promotion where you have Michael Jordan's actual size hand on a basketball. And if I'm a kid, I can compare my hand to Michael Jordan. That was another one that I was very proud of and it, it actually contributed a lot to their business, I think. I've always been a, a big believer in giving back. Uh, so when I first got to Stephen and Brady, you know, we were involved in some pro bono work here and there. And then I was invited to, to a, a luncheon by a, a gentleman named Ron Bornstein, who was heading up the United Way uh, campaign that year and had lunch with the new uh, director for Special Olympics Wisconsin. And he asked, hey, you know, he's, he's new to town. They need some help. Is, is there something you guys would be willing to do? And because of the initial exposure, doing the, the commercials and some of the collateral materials, you get a chance to meet the athletes. And that's what it's all about. Everything is focused on the athlete and the athlete experience. And you, you get to talk to them and meet them, and boy, it, you get hooked. And the next thing you know, it's like, what else can we do for these guys? 
Yes, he's one who's always very passionate about sharing knowledge and helping people out, not just with the Special Olympics or Madison Ballet or arts organizations that we've officially been involved in, but some of the work that he does in mentoring. So whether it's, you know, at our agency level, at a more academic level, or at a more, you know, specific pro bono or board engagement level, he's just really into sharing his knowledge and using it to help other people out. From a, a management side of things, I think I've learned so much from George and just how he approaches the business, how he approaches leading teams and developing those people that are on your staff and your team. I can guarantee you without George and the others, I would not be um, the account director anywhere, um, let alone a partner at an agency at this level. He's always steady, whether it's good times or bad times, and uh, he guides us through it with a very cool head, rational thinking helps us be patient. Some of us need that more than others uh, when necessary. <laughs> and uh, he's just a very steadying influence on the entire company. Do you need a tissue? Right. Yeah, all these nice things. Getting, are you, a are you home weepy. Home? getting a little weepy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start. Go ahead and tell me your name. We'll start there. Okay. 